Hello, welcome to renovation week eight. Jas and I are at Ren Kitchens. What day is it today? Tuesday evening. We have another appointment with them. Fun times. It's such a long drive here, but hopefully this is like the second last appointment. I hope. Oh, yeah. So we haven't seen this yet. Yeah. My wife will like me. She <laughs> likes any pretty camera. <laughs> It's good, doesn't it, with the skylights? It's yeah. very bright. A lot of light on there, yeah. Yeah. Whoa, that's really bright, Jess. We are in our house. It is 10 p.m. There's no electricity. And Jess <laughs> is holding up both our phones to put, shine some light on me, basically. It was a bit of a mistake coming here at this time because we really can't see and I'm being <laughs> so blinded by the light. Maybe I'll stand here. Oh God, no, Jess, there's really no light on me now. That's better, backlight. Anyway, <laughs> the reason we're here so late is because we were at Ren Kitchens for another design appointment and we kind of go past the house on our way home, hence why it's 10pm, but we kind of forgot there'd be no lights here. So we've just come to kind of see what the builders have done because we haven't been here all week and uh, I see what he means this time. I can show you while Jas is standing. No, 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 face that wall. <laughs> I can show you while Jas is here. This is a partition for our toilet. This is the, um, basically the steel, and they've made this column narrower because that'll be hidden inside a unit anyway. But I need to somehow ask the builder tomorrow if he can take this back about three centimetres because this is a very tight gap between our washing machine that'll be down here and the fridge. Just, just be really careful because there's wood. holes. See, that, that, that's quite thick, those planks of wood. Yeah, yeah but it's probably used for privacy as well because you don't want to like... Yeah. Um, no, but I mean, they're quite thick. I mean, you need to put. If they were like mm. three centimeters in, right? <sighs> then, then that'll sort that issue out. The problem we're actually having is, just can you hold it up a bit up there? See where this steel beam hits the wall? It comes down quite far, and so our fridge will have to be a bit shorter, the unit, um, so that we can open the door. Otherwise, it will hit into that steel up there. It's a bit hard to explain, but it just means that all these larder units won't be the same height, and so we'll basically lose like one bit of storage. The storage is not that much of an issue. It's more about it looking symmetrical, but I'm gonna have to try and figure out if there's a solution for that, which the only solution I can think of is taking this back a little bit. I'm not sure what these gaps are for. They've made a massive, can you turn please? <laughs> So can you turn, please? They basically made a massive hole there for our downdraft extractor. Oh, the skylights! How do I get through? Hold on. Oh, here we are. No, I think they've put. No, they haven't put. I think they've put one in, have they? Or not? They've put. No, they haven't put any. any is that, put, does that go all the outside? What? Does that go all the way outside? Yeah, I think so. Where's that hole? Um. Yeah. Oh shit! There's a hole, you know. There's not rain. <laughs> That's where our skylight yeah, windows are going. Rat jumps in or a <gasps> Don't say that. Anyway, our two skylights are in. My camera's really struggling. <laughs> Look at those beautiful curtains. <laughs> Do you guys love how Jas is just like doing a little 360 twirling around with two phones? We should just get out of here because there's not really much that we can see to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Like we need to find our way back, Jas. How do yeah, we do this? Yeah, it's like a house here, isn't it? Oh God, don't say that, that's so creepy. Mm. Don't say that. It really is like a haunted house, just I can't even see where I'm going. Oh no. Okay, I'm armed with my own phone. So I can see where I'm going, so I've just stood here in the middle of nowhere. Ah, for ages. Right, let's see what's going on in here. It's so creepy, I can see like my own shadows. Where are they? There, really creepy. Oh God, what is this? Okay. This room. Wow. Oh, this plaster might be wet. Be careful with your jacket. I don't like that our windows are completely bare so that the whole street can essentially see in. It's not very nice. But such is life. Should we go? Yeah. Oh, God, I keep stepping on this bloody plank. Well, right. This was a great start to this video, wasn't it? I do find it funny that they haven't removed this light fitting yet. 
but there isn't exactly a light switch for it anyway anymore so we're not going upstairs now are we no, 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 no. because um it's just that's the thing i kept stepping on as well it's really annoying actually sorry let's not break something before we um injure ourselves and can't paint oh my god a parcel arrived for me today it's my concrete shelf you guys don't understand how excited i am for this i spent so long debating about this because this was a very expensive purchase it's quite heavy it's very heavy because it's leaning against this here but that's fine no not that heavy it's concrete this is not concrete. oh no actually sorry it's not that heavy because Why is it heavy it's, I don't know, what it's, kind of just, is this? it's like 7 kg or something, it even or 11 much. kg, because it has to hang on a wall without falling off, Jas. Are you serious? What are you doing? Is it real concrete? Yeah, it's real concrete, of course. Real concrete is not this slight. <laughs> this is like 5 kg or something. Well, anyway, keep it I down. I one stronger. Well, we, I need to open it up tomorrow and check. Right now I can't do anything because look at how dark it is. Anyway, this was a very expensive purchase that we deliberated about for quite some time and then the builder was basically like hurry up and decide because if you're putting up a concrete shelf you need it to arrive before I leave otherwise I'll charge you to put mm. it up if I have to come back and uh, I mean you are good at DIY Jas but you know at least I can shout at the builder if it goes wrong <laughs> I was more worried about what these things are leaning on because here it's, it's a it's fine it's fine don't worry don't worry it's fine anyway let's go well that was a fabulous start to the video like was there really any point in even going to the house today Jas? Hmm. I mean it's fine we've satisfied ourselves that we've been it is now quarter past not 12 quarter past 10 it took me a while to register what 22 means bloody hell we're now gonna go home and just go to bed so tired wow okay I'm at the house I've had a meeting with the builder I'm spoken to the other guy and oh my god trying to find my way here the skylights look so good the builder was even saying to me made a really good choice let me show you from in here you can see all the light it actually looks incredible it's a really good shout getting rid of that window there because actually we don't miss it we've got all the light coming from here obviously these are dirty at the moment they're still doing the roof but it's going to look so good when it's done so in fact, yeah, there'll actually be more light when they're done because there's something blocking the window at the moment, but really happy with our choices so far. In fact, it even makes the ceilings look higher because obviously the light's raised at the top of the roof. And there we go. So this is the master bedroom. Most of it's been plastered, but oh my God, it actually feels huge now that the chimney breast has gone. There's like literally no sign that it was ever here in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> and the airing cupboard's gone as well but what I wanted to do was come out here and have a look at the skylights from upstairs wow it looks so airy there's a guy currently working on the roof so I don't want to get him in there but this is crazy it looks so good I love I actually really like these slopey ceilings here I didn't at first I need to somehow try and figure out how to get this weird sticker off the windows but <sighs> I've just been chatting to the builder to see if we can get these doors because I've taken a couple off upstairs, rehung the opposite way. So let me show you what I mean if I stand here. The door for in here opens that way. So I wanted to see if it would open this way because it just makes the room feel a lot bigger when the door opens up against the wall. And it's the same for here. This door currently opens this way. I wanted it to open this way, but he said it's too late for that because we've already got the stuff for the light switches here. So that's not going to work if it's behind a door. Bit of a shame, actually. But you know what? It's not too much of a problem. It's just because there's going to be a bedside table here and I didn't want the door to keep banging into the bedside table because that'd be very annoying and also damage it and all the rest of it. But oh my God, it's starting to look really good really obsessed with the colour of plaster. This looks insane. I'm so obsessed with the skylights. It was a really good shout getting rid of the window on the side of the house because these bring in so much light. They're a really good size too, I think. I've just come home to this huge parcel. I cannot even explain to you how big it is. 
This chair I have wanted for the longest time and it was discontinued and the other day I saw it was back in stock so I had to buy it and oh can I do this? Hold on. Trust me, you need to help me. I don't actually want to use it in the flat, I want to save it for the new house, but there's nowhere for me to put it in there. As you saw it's very dusty. <gasps> it's beautiful! Just feel it! <laughs> It's so nice. This is the best pink tub chair I have seen. It's actually from Sea Rider. My cousin saw it in the charity shop window and then I later found out that they actually just make and sell furniture themselves. They sell it on eBay. That's where I bought it from. It's a bit more expensive than other tub chairs I've seen in like TK Maxx and other places, but the design of this is just so much nicer than the others. It's just, I'm in love with this colour. Do you like this colour? Yeah, it's a nice colour. So nice, isn't it? It has black and gold legs as well. Oh, here we are. The legs are here. Oh, good. Oh, them. yes! looks so nice! Okay, I don't want to use it here or ruin it. So we're going to cover it back up, right? Yep. It's just easier to transport this way. Don't put that there because it's going to damage it. Put it back where it was. Oh, oh shit. God. You're ruining the legs. <laughs> oh, there's one, two, three here. Let me see. Four legs. Oh. Oh, legs feel a bit lightweight. Anyway, this was quite a pricey purchase, but I've been after this since, well, for over a year, right? Yes. So it was before lockdown, before we even got a house, actually. Mm. I've just always wanted a pink chair. No idea where it's going to go, but there we go. This is life. Back at the house, I've just had a meeting with another kitchen fitter who actually seemed really good. Really nice guy as well. So we've got some good news, but it's a bit hard to explain. Now I need to go and find the builder and try and uh, chat to him. Hello, happy Saturday. Oh, it's raining. Can I put my hood up? Can you put my hood up? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> it's kind of, your hair is all over the place. I've just shoved my hair inside it. It's like being shoved in a cat <laughs> and I've back. We are waiting outside a stone place because we're looking at <laughs> worktops today. But the guy's running five minutes late, so we're kind of standing outside in the rain. <sighs> this shopping thing is just never ending it's not even fun stuff that we're shopping for at this point but do you know what i'd be happy to finally see worktops in person because it's just not the same seeing them online and i really want a nice quartz worktop i think anyway i keep thinking i want quartz but who knows what will happen when we get here we've just got a day of missions planned today to be honest because we've got loads of shopping to do we're going to like, look at carpets worktops um i've got an optician's appointment in between we're going to go to the house i'm not sure that we'll do any painting today though because um, the builder said it's quite dusty in the house and they're doing like the pipe work for the boiler and for the radiators but Jas has got his like dirty painting clothes in the car just in case oh I haven't got my painting clothes I won't be painting <laughs> I've just remembered I'll, I can sand down the walls and stuff but I really just want to like just get moving with stuff because I feel like it's dragging out a little bit I said in like a video a couple of weeks ago that I thought that would be the last week for the builders but I think it's gonna be two more weeks because I don't think they're dragging it out on purpose I think they just got a lot of stuff to do and um they're doing all the skilled stuff he was saying not like the labor labor intensive job so i think he's finding it maybe difficult to get like skilled people in also because i think he knows that i want like the best finish possible so he's trying to get the best people in not just any old person like you know that <laughs> will do like an okay finish so i think that's why it's taking them a while but we don't want to rush the builders because obviously we don't want a crappy finish at the end of it so anyway i will try and take you with me in this shop although i don't think i can but basically <laughs> what if these are tiles or if these are worktops outside here anyway i think the guy will be here soon so we're just gonna have a look so this is the sort of thing we're looking at um Initially, I really liked that one, but now I'm thinking something like this. It's a bit whiter though. It's a bit of a shame though because we actually need to bring in the cabinet door, and I'm not sure that Ren will give us that to hold it up against this workshop because we're not buying the workshop from them. But yeah. So we've just been to one um, quartz worktop stone place, whatever they're called. I don't really know, and oh, he's given us. It's very dirty, just grabbed it from outside. <laughs> so heavy, hold on one second. He's given us a little sample 
of one that we chose so initially we wanted like a caesar stone quartz but that's actually one of the most expensive and apparently the design that i really liked that jess also really liked happens to be one of the most expensive types of quartz that caesar stone who is already one of the most expensive brands do which is just typical but this is very similar he actually wants us to bring in um a sample door from wren i don't think wren are going to give us a sample door because obviously it's in their best interest that we don't buy the worktop from somewhere else but you never buy a stone worktop from a kitchen place like wren because it's like double the price anyway this guy seemed pretty nice but his price is I don't know, we have nothing to compare them to. I did text another guy and he's given me a price for the same Caesar Stone worktop, which was a lot cheaper. This guy's was a lot more expensive, but this other brand, random brand one that we're now looking at is a lot more affordable. We do have um, an appointment with somebody else on Monday morning and there's another place that we don't need to book an appointment for that we might go to today, but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. Um, <sighs> but yeah, it's difficult choosing worktops. It's really hard. Like this is obviously a very permanent decision. Like I keep saying, it's not like buying a light fitting that can be quite easily changed. So yeah, I'm gonna struggle a bit with this one, but I'm not sure what we're doing now. Just has just popped into the supermarket to go to the little boy's room and I need to stop drinking water because I'll have to pee too. We've got like We've got about three hours to kill um, before my optician's appointment. We need to get some lunch. We might go to the house. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to go to Curry's and I think there's one nearby and to Carpet Right and then grab some lunch and, I don't know, do something. But it is a very drizzly day. Let me show you. It's just such a grey day. Can you believe this is the middle of May? <laughs> oh, and this is my sample. It's a bit of a shame that you gave me one that's a little bit damaged. I could have actually used this as a photography prop in the future. <laughs> I'm so sad. We're at the house now, but honestly, nothing really looks that much different, does it, Jess? Mm. It's very different to you because you haven't seen the skylights yet. Yeah. But they look really good. Let me show you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Those are our skylights covered in rain. And I think the builders are upstairs, but... I can see some like, these are like new, Jess, mm. these pipes. I mean, this is like riveting content, but I think these gray things are new, but I have no idea what they're for. So I'm filming this on behalf of Nishi because she's not here today. What I've done is fed this coax cable through from the outside into the building and this will be under the floorboards, so you won't be able to see this once the floor's done. And the idea is to actually feed this right through, right at the back, kind of under the floorboards to where the TV will be. And I'm obviously doing a weird DIY, DIY job here, so I'm using this little pipe, which I found on the floor. And what I'm gonna do is see if I can feed this through, like through here. And the idea is to get it at the other end, to that gap there, where I lifted one of the floorboards, and to see how it goes. Wish me luck. Hello, this is Future Nishi coming at you. Sorry, I'm just grabbing myself a snack in the kitchen. I am obsessed with strawberries at this time of year. I literally can eat like a pun at a day, a pun at every other day. I just love them. Anyway, I realised while I was editing the video that we left it on a bit of a cliffhanger. So, Jas went to the house yesterday and he decided to film a couple of clips for me, which I wasn't expecting. And I'd actually forgotten to end my vlog anyway. So, he, I think he went to like paint, but he didn't get that much painting done because he also had to feed this wire, I don't really understand, <laughs> from the outside of the house all the way inside and then all the way under the floorboards to go all the way to the other end of the living room where the TV is going to be. I don't know what it was for. I think it's, we're trying to hide as many wires as possible, obviously. So for when we move in and when our flooring's done and all the rest of it, and obviously the builder said, come and do it ASAP before he starts screwing all the floorboards down properly. So it took him a lot longer than he anticipated and he managed to do it, but I think he's got a couple more to do. There's like one for the internet, one for like the CCTV or the cameras, I'm, I'm not sure. And there's also gonna be one for like the Virgin Media 
box TV satellite thing. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, as you can tell, I'm leaving like the electrically wiry techie stuff to him because that's like his department. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I'd just come on here and end this video here. Um, and I will see you next week for renovation week nine, which hopefully will be the second last week, I want to say. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.